going on, babe? I saw the smoke. It's hard to get it lit, right? Huh? Does it, is it on fire down there? You see why I wanted fuel now, right? Okay. Come and get it. You want me to bring it to you? <laughs> Hey, and my job is to look for the Bayakubo up here. <laughs> Where's your water at? Oh, I don't know where it is. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Look how close I am to the road right here, though. That's dangerous. Whoa. What are you going back down there? Well, you stay up here. I'm gonna go walk around a little bit down there. I don't get to see the property. Enough. You gotta watch for the Bakuba coming from that way. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go down.
<laughs> so this is the Bayakuba I've been dreaming about. 
Like I said, dreams do come true. Y'all heard me dreaming about this for quite a while. And now it's true. So that's gonna be my base of operations right here in the, in the yard. The house is gonna be built right there. Gonna have to cut a couple banana trees down. I hate to do it. And a palm tree, that palm tree and these two banana trees gotta go. And the house is gonna be built right there. Notched into that hill back there. I don't know if you can see it. But that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna catch a little bit of shade here. Can't go in here until tomorrow, he said. So that's what we'll do. Right, beautiful view. Right now I don't see any daylight up there, but I imagine it will start leaking. So when it does leak, I will put a tarpaulin over the top of it, come around the outside and attach it just like they did this net right to these nails right here. Probably uh, get some of them nails, you know, that got like washers on them. There's the guys. Uh-oh. They're stuck. They're stuck in the gravel up there. Right, bro. I know. I, I just pulled my bike in there and got stuck. <laughs> I had to push it out by hand. Let me go up there and help down.